just standing out. Saviobi and Libero both completely outperforming their DPS counterparts on Soul Dynasty. It's gonna be up to Soul Dynasty here to shake things off during the break and get their heads together for the second map. Yeah, that's, it's an interesting pick for the offense, but I think he's just very comfortable on it. Oddly enough, Mecco had played an amazing Roadhog the last time we saw New York Excelsior, so interesting switch ups, but that's that the first kill you see. But already, SBB back onto Fleta, who falls first, and they clean up. Nearly went slip into a watery grave with alligators. Instead, he managed to make it out. But we will have the kill coming in here from Zuma to start things off. Jonak gets the snipe on Munchkin. No back flank this time around. And so New York Excel, still, the fight continues. Well, most people brought back oh. to life. Another huge volley takes down Zumba. Jonak has been a monster on Zenyatta. There's looking for it right now. I think they might take their cues from Saviobi yet again. That's how they won their first fight. And you can see him pushing the, the payload forward a little bit. Causing Soul to have to react. And there's the self destruct mainly. Will he be able to find a kill with it? Yes, he will. Or no, Saviobi is the one to take down Fleta. And so once again, you're right. Key DPS frag right there to open things up. And that lets Libero go ham. Yeah, Mecco just wanted a new mech, actually, and now Libero goes to town, and that was a huge kill, and when you take a Widow out of the fight, everyone else can play a completely different style. Widow changes the battlefield. Mano, living up to his name. A lot of defense on the guard, the blade, more ambition, oh my god, two! To Libero, he's chopping up the paces! Three kills, straight it up. He's just turned it around single-handedly here for his team, and down to the tanks now for Soul Dynasty to try and survive as best they can. And they're already having to give ground here, having to dance as best. Well, it's not going to be good enough. New York XL, off the back of some crazy plays from Libero, managed to pick up the first map. The go signal for the offense. Exactly right. Now it's going to be about hitting those high value targets. Mecco just chucks a bunch of bullets in Cookie's face off the hook as well. And he has the whole hog to continue pushing targets off of this point if he wants. And so Jayhong right now, he is hunting for the high value targets and he might be able to get that EMP. Mecco doesn't really matter for him. He's still going to be able to pick up the kills. And see if Ulvi has won the fight versus Flood in the meantime. But the back line gets cleaned up. And that's Jonak. Him getting EMP'd and dying so quickly kind of allowed him to save it too. And we've already had the change in roster now. Jaehong back onto his trusty Zenyatta. Fleta will go for the McCree to reign supreme from the high ground, looking for these targets. He could get pressure, but guess not. Oh. Libero definitely did not expect that. He's dead, he's out of the fight, and Toby has already popped wings here to keep his teammates alive. Fleta, so long as he stays on this high ground, he is gonna be overjoyed. But as I say it, if he only gets the pulse on him, doesn't matter though, because Toby's there with the res, and this is looking fantastic now for Soul. Well, yes, for Soul Dynasty. That first damage between Libero and Safe Yobi, that is brutal. And there we go, the follow up. Safe Yobi's just going ham right now. Sick plays. Hunts the tracer off, or, you know, in this case, obviously, the Sombra. Jay Hong hanging back, just putting a little bit of heat on here. Libero, not quite gonna get the mine. Yes, he does. Finds the kill. Now Toby's getting in on the healing train at 85%. It is time to go. They're looking for targets. There it is. And that is, he hits the money targets. The perfect one. It's exactly what he was looking for. Ark did manage to dodge it. It looks like he will be able to get the res. But is he gonna be enough? Him solo healing, trying to keep his team in this fight. Zumba will have to self-destruct if he wants to use it to try and buy a little bit more time here. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like Soul will give up on this fight. Very slick. Fleta going for the roll as well, just trying to get out of there. And so now there will be no pulse, no early pick, but it doesn't really matter. Munchkin will be the one to take down Mano, the hero for New York. Excel on the last fight, that is it. Just like that in the blink of an eye. Soul collapse on the point and pick it up right from New York's noses. The quad tank strat essentially coming out here from New York. Excel is look at how quickly Jonak is generating ult. I one fight and he's got 50% already. I love this strategy. Even if it doesn't work, I love this strategy. They're going to take the ground away. It is tank time right now. Jonak is going to get so much healing going on. They have a Lucio in the mix as well, so they're just going to clump up. They need to find an answer to do damage in a large area right now, does Soul. Oh my god, he's already got coalescence and the fight has barely begun. This is unbelievable. Just gets the orbs out, make sure that he keeps his teammates topped up. They're making progress right now. Seville, so Soul have to find a way to challenge, but they're not quite managing it. It is going to be the two remaining players here, but Toby, I mean, 
You're not gonna last long if you're Mercy and you're facing down a Roadhog, a Diva, the Winston, everything there. Not the Winston this time, but Tanks because of a couple reasons. The orb is going to help out, yes, but that healing spray she does goes through targets and it hits a wide clump of people, but Coalescence works so well. It does healing and damage. That's a huge pick. They're gonna have to go for it. Coalescence is out. He's crossing the streams. This is unbelievable. There it is. The damage is dealt, but Jay Hong is there with the Transcendence to keep him alive as well. It will wear down eventually, and there's the Earth Shatter to lay everybody low, but the self-destruct will buy just a little bit more space, but as I say, it's Sam Yobi, takes down Jay Hong, he's looking for Planet, and he's gonna get him. This is New York spinning out of control. Well, they left Mercy out of the mix, so she's gonna bring two back to life, but there is still everyone alive. Another coalescence is crossing the streams of the healing and the damage on both, but this bought enough time, still sold out out of this just yet. Moira, the, oh, I mean, she, well, now we have so much to work with here. Jaehong has decided to swap off to the Hanna. Not long, though. And Fleta has finally decided to go for the shotguns as well, trying to deal with these big, meaty targets, but he is not quite managing it. Instead, it's Sabiobi with the whole hog. Two kills and a point for New York XL. Five minutes and a half left in their time bank. They just rolled Soul Dynasty. Just find the pick early on, and there's the flank from Zumba trying to get into the back line. Gets splash banged immediately. The stun, and yeah, sure enough, the DMEC will happen. And Sabioli will be able to pick that one up, staying together, staying with the support. And also, he does have Mecco there to watch his back. As I say that, though, Munchkin finds the kill. That just gets back kept? some point in time. I mean, I was watching Kuki die three times in a row, and he's still going for it, still fighting on the point, but Flata does come to life. I'm gonna try to get similar positioning to his last EMP. You wanna get back in the corner onto those healers. One, an EMP might as well just delete Zen because it strips off shields automatically. He's down to 50 HP and a soft cheer coming in from Mano, but that's fine. He has his shield down. And eventually, Kuki will find the key kill on Ark. No possible Valkyrie now. There's a big opportunity here for Soul. EMP went down into the corner on both of those healers, and now Flutter can absolutely clean up. Nobody is back alive. Say Biobi does take down Toby in the back line, but now he's gonna try to stall at the point. He's taken out, and with 1.9 on the clock. Three shots. Exactly right. He misses his opportunity, though. Say Biobi had a real chance. It looked like Soul were thinking, okay, this is the same strategy again. Everybody get out there, just, you know, kind of bottle him up. And that gave him the chance to try and land a shot on some of the squishies. Zumba saves his tank friend, but only for the moment as Mecco will take down Kuki after that. And now, where do you even come in from? You're eating scrap through all of these doorways. There's no great entry here. Another hook will go down. Toby brings back Kuki, but not for long. Toby gives his life for it. Excelsior are gonna grab this point. What fantastic mind games, and there it is. Liberal reigns supreme with the help of Sabiobi. Body on the ground. Yeah, flat up. Nope, not gonna send it through. Maybe gets the flank. Yep, right around the back. Catches Libero immediately, and that's the big one that's gonna slow things down. With the D-Mech on Mecco, and yes, this will reset it. Perfectly done here by Soul Dynasty. But New York, they have so much time to work with. They should kind of just brush the dust off their shoulders here, right? Okay, fair enough. Perfect, I love it, the terminology. Let's go. Just a tad bit of spam. Oh, Libero, though, with a Helix Rocket, no less. Denies the tire access to the back line, and that's a big kill, that's a big shutdown. And, and now I guess it's time to fight. They're gonna have a much leader Valkyrie or needs to stay alive. Oh, oh, what was that? The hook! It doesn't do anything at all! Mecco's angry about that. Ark had just popped Valkyrie before this preemptively, so it can bring everyone back to life. That's why you see the flood of kills coming in. One more brought back to life. Safe Yobi will be out of it permanently, but they might not need it. New York captures the point. 90 second advantage as we go into round number three. When you see a Junkrat and a Roadhog on the same team, it's usually to prevent from dive. You're gonna get picks early, just like that one on Kuki. <laughs> that trap! Very much so. 20 seconds left on the clock now, pretty much. You can see Jay Hong, he looks like he's gonna get that push going, trying to draw them back. See, Yobi is here to mine the point, however. Not a bad duel between, you know, Sombra and Tracer, unless, exactly, unless Jay Hong gets the hack, and there it is! Gets the fast, he pulls the fast one on Sabiobi and gets that first kill. One tick, tick and a half. We're nearly there. Jaehyung was invisible and just eight and eight. Just a lady luck on the side of Libero as he's able to take down Munchkin in turn as well. Still a brawl on the point. Kuki is a little bit outgunned at the moment. He's going into one of his hard counters in Roadhog, but Flata shows up to the show late. We'll take down two. This is a nail biter. No way. No way. Two ticks. And this is gonna be the first point for Soul Dynasty. How did they sit it? They had a minute, X! They had a minute!
Oh, certainly. Yes, they definitely have to know that the MP is going to be a factor, but we're already getting kills. There's the trade, though. Toby out of the fight very early on. Coletta, however, still in this, and now he's got the infrared. He's going to be able to line up those shots even easier. Looking for it, the follow-up here on Sebiobi. Sebiobi, not got an easy target to hit, especially with the blinks, the recalls, but never mind. Fleta gets the job done. Valkyrie now out of existence. Toby will sprout his own wings and keep his team alive on the point, and they need that extra healing. Now they've lost one, they've lost two, a huge bunch of kills. Is Toby gonna be able to bring enough back to life? Gonna be the big question as Libero with the Dragon Blade will finally remove Munchkin from the fight, and it is just gonna be Toby drifting down to certain death. And it will be the end. Five to four. But what an impressive performance from Soul. You can never count these guys out of any fight. Jesus, look at how much damage they're doing. But there it is, the boost. Get him onto the point quick. Get him out of that open ground. But look at how much damage they're taking, XL. This is where Junkrat excels. Fleta just nearly got his ultimate already. That is obscene. And instantly with the rip tire, will they be able to dodge it? Who's going to get caught in the open? And sure enough, only the one, but it's Jodak. That's the healing gone for New York Excel. That's all that matters right there. There will not be enough healing to keep these tanks alive. Kills are coming in back and forth, but it is Soul Dynasty with a massive advantage. They're only staying here. I don't even know why to stall. You're trying to get a third, hopefully, that they jump off, but this is all time for the reset, very likely, for the NYXL. Trying to get out with their lives, and now they self-staggered there. Probably should have given up that fight a little earlier. Absolutely enormous. Toby used his Valkyrie very early, knowing that there's only 15 seconds left, and he's got 15 seconds for people. Another huge kill, but the tire takes down Ark, who's holding on to his Valkyrie. Unbelievable. They may be able to do this to withstand the attack. The backline is dead for XL. Now it's a matter of cleanup, but you're still having to deal with the likes of Sebiobi. And right now, the man is staying alive, but he's all alone. He's trying to get out of Dodge, but he'll get hunted down by Kuki. Overtime is burning, and Soul Dynasty. Oh no, the tap. Somehow they managed to get back onto it just in time. Arkes Valkyrie is able to fly back. He does bring back two, but he will give up his life. That is no more sustained on the point. Soul still knocking them off of the point and about. Not enough healing for NYXL. And the overtime, the longer it goes that wick, the quicker it burns. Exactly right. You're gonna have that Discord orb, 30% increased damage taken, and that is a big difference when you're talking about a Roadhog or somebody who's just a big fat target that you wanna try and lay low as quickly as possible. He's got self-destruct ready right now. Maybe looking for an angle, waiting for the pharmacy to come in. They do force a transcend out early. A huge hook! Oh, that's so big! But what a hero Cookie is! Backs up just in time and keeps his teammate alive. And you can see Jay Hong just dancing. Such a hard target to hit when he's got Valk. He is so fast. But he is the last one, and it doesn't matter. You can't outrun the orbs, especially when it's Jodak who's aiming him. Aki is taking quite a bit of damage here, dropping about half HP. Mako managed to get his as well. And sure enough, self-destruct committed. Jayhawk cast off the edge, and he dies! But somebody's there to turn it around. You lost your mercy, but Sobo with a massive triple kill on the self-destruct. Toby able to get some fancy footwork and stay out. 99 to 99, next fight wins this one. Exactly right, because that overtime wick is burning, and you can see it's getting faster and faster. And sure enough, it'll tick. Jayhawk not able to get in there to touch the point fast enough. Fleta as well, he was right on the edge. But again, you have to keep an eye on that overtime wick. The longer it's there burning, the quicker it'll go as soon as somebody isn't contesting. So back and forth in the timings, this giant self-destruct took down so many people. Jayhong off the edge over there, but it did not matter. He's able to get back into it. Early death cost him some all charge. Will very likely have his Valkyrie choice next fight. The ultimate I want to look at is going to be Save Yobi's Dead Eye. One of the best ways to take down an ulting mercy in the sky. See if he can find the angle. Jonek down again to Fleta. Unbelievable. And those are just grenades thrown out, you know, forgotten about as he sets up for his rip tire, looking for a target just to, well, point blank onto Mecco, and that facilitates the kill. Mono is gone as well. Both of the tanks. They will get rezzed, however, at least Mono will get rezzed by Ark as Jonak was brought back to life earlier, but Toby in the meantime will not be able to get the follow-up. It's Libero who gets the kill on Toby. Nothing for the Valkyrie for Soul. With the help of Kuki, save all you can see. Not wanting to show himself, definitely does not want to be opening himself up to damage from those grenades. But he has another dead eye. So is it a matter of waiting for Toby and the Valk again? Or does he just try and use it to create space for his opponents or it's, for his team here? It's questionable if he knows the percentage they're at. Most of these pro teams are very good at tracking the percentage. I think they're looking for a hero play up top with the dead eye so that he can take this high ground, zone them out at the very least. Ark will have Valkyrie beforehand. Or or they just don't touch the point at all. 
<laughs> this Jux could be absolutely enormous here. A whole hawk starts off, takes Kuki out of the mix. D maxed by the self destruct on the other side, but I imagine that resurrection will come off. Art will pop out right away to get Mecho back into this mix. They still have control of the point, does New York. It's a very even battle fight here between both of these teams. So now it's going to come through the healing and the damage post that also chains out as well between teammates if Ark is using it. But so many kills there for New York Excel, and now it's all on Munchkin here trying to stay alive as long as possible. Eventually, save Yobi. But connects with base, and it's done. They managed to take the point back over in their favor, and they only need 5%. The pressure is on now for Soul to get in here and try and touch the point quickly, and there it is. Sure enough, we do have Zumba making it in the nick of time to keep his team still in this fight. Back into it, but it's desperation time. They're gonna have to have an enormous play. Sound barrier will start it off, at least give them a little extra staying power on the point. The barrage comes down from Libero. Will take down two, and no one is there to punish him, so he is still alive. New York has won Oasis. Fantastic play. Well, in all honesty, the defense gets in a little better position here once it rounds the back. And they, I think they've seen enough teams get pulled off of that bridge and absolutely abused by snipers. So now they're just going to play a little further back. Let those lines go. A beautiful hook, but Jaehong, no, does not get out with his life. A nice finish there for Mano. Tanks helping each other out. Yes, see through walls with his ultimate. That is the match if you want to look at a Valkyrie Mercy. Can the Widow on the other side of things take them down? So far, these hull hook combos have been brutal for Jaehong. Once again, he's out of position, launched bodily into the air. Does manage to stay alive. However, he takes a breather and he keeps in that fight. But New York, they're still hanging in here. They've got that Arisa Bearer and another hook. This time onto Zumba. And there's the D Max. But most importantly, we've lost Toby in this fight. Toby's out of it. That means this fight's essentially over. Ark has to demonstrate his patience yet again. But when you have that Widow and she can hide behind the barrier like this, it is so difficult. And it's so difficult, in fact, that Fleta has given up. He's already swapped off the Widow to the Genji. He's not going to be able to try and deal with this. Instead, he's going to try and look for the flank. No need to go for the 1v1 fight. When you've got safe double, you can just hit headshots at will. An Orisa barrier will just ruin your day as a Widow, so there's no point to it. They've switched off the tank anyway, so they're going to move on to a Winston on board. Mono will get punched into the corner. Arc having to back off, give ground, and it does look like Soul. They have the opportunity here to connect and get to the second point, push this to a third. Mecco will get picked as well, and they are just running in one after another. Finally, Jonak decides enough is enough. I have to get the trance out there. He will be invulnerable during the duration, and that could be the turning point. Tanks completely out of it as Save Yobi comes in, and both of the tanks aboard Zol are out. That means no great stalling option out of the point. Flatter, though, trying to bring it back, but he cannot deflect the taser of Winston. That is where the payload will end. New York's win condition gets a second point at Junkertown, and Claim your spot as the best team in the Overwatch League. Frag though, Save Yoli takes down Fleta, and that can mean all the difference. Libero, however, will get traded by Zumba. They lose a little bit of damage, but Fleta with the reds as well. Jonah, can he make the difference? No, hooked into oblivion. And Soul Dynasty, they managed to grind the push to a halt. Zumba though, caught in the open now, trying to hide. Not gonna happen, and we're getting kills traded. They forced out Valkyrie already from Toby, though, and the moment that that Valkyrie is done with Ark will pop his. There comes Ark's Valkyrie that will bring them back up to full strength should they need it. Libero died in a very strange spot, as did save Yobi, so that means Ark, out of position, gets caught out by Flutter in the Resurrection meta. It is not if you die, it is where you die. Ark trying to get over there, put himself into harm's way. Flutter with the punish. And Fleta, now that the... Uh... Infrared is worn off. He's gonna be out in the open again, looking for these shots. Nice hook to set things up. Not quite finding the kill, though. Mech, oh, somehow he will die eventually. The damage is there. Ark will bring him back to life, though, and we have the Valks in play, but that overtime wick is burning, and New York not able to get on the point in time. So they keep their hopes alive. We're tied up two to two, and sure enough, Hex, it had to go down this way. It had to happen this way that we go to five maps in this set, that they didn't go all in on the point, had people alive, a little bit rough there. New York, for all the good things they have done, they have made some mistakes. Still has his cold bomb as well. This is some real patience coming out of Saviyoli, considering how quickly he generates those molds. 
Toby preemptively Valkyrie that fight and is unable to find a resurrection target. They didn't even kill anyone. That is one of the counters to Valka. You just waited out. Don't kill anyone. Now Ark has his own. They might not even need it. Still in control of the point seventy one and counting up. Now Ark's Valkyrie will come up. He'll bring Mono back to life. They have lost Mecho though. Still on the hunt on the ground. Jonak kills two again. Unbelievable. Fleta does get the res in time. Is there to stop Saviobi and Ark will get the res on Jonak. So the terror continues along. As I say that, Zamba finally manages to end him. And so Mano trying to buy a little bit of time here. Touches the point. No pull down for the jump pack. Small advantage for New York. This fight will win the stage. The focus on Cookie. He is still here and he will be able to stay alive as well. But the point is takes back over in New York Excelsior's favor. They still have the edge here. As far as the ultra concerned, Mono will have his primal rage continue buying time. He just needs to stay alive. And the overtime wick is burning. Soul not gonna make that mistake though. Toby eventually gets stuffed. And this is it the moment that New York are waiting for. They pick up the first map. Give themselves the advantage here in the deciding map of this series. Remember that map, because it is not often you will see Soul get out supported. Couple of seconds. Cookie, can he get through the window? All right, they have Bunny on point, so at least buy a little bit more time here. He went a little early, though. He was trying to hide out, but they had spotted him, so that's why he jumped on the point right away. Toby's going to resurrect Fleta immediately. Ark's still holding on to his Valkyrie. This is an uphill fight for Soul. The focus, the target calling here. Everything is impeccable for New York Excel. No resurrect possible, especially not when you're dead. In New York, they might well have done it. They might have dethroned the Kings. He clawed the Cats, and they are the new Kings of Overwatch League. New York Excel, they have done it. Three to two. Yeah, the emotion says it all. A team whose name means ever upward. Now nowhere more to go as they sit atop the Overwatch League.